In this video, I'll be talking about the design I ended up with for my Sprinter interior and how I got there. I first began by measuring the interior of my Sprinter van. Previously, I had attempted to do a cardboard mock layout inside the actual van. That didn't work out so well. After that experience I realized it's taking far too long and it's not really giving me accurate measurements. Which would be okay if I was working with wood. Just a quick explanation of why this would work with wood but not composite plastics. For example, if this piece was a thick wooden slab that I put into the floor and I tried to anchor this bench into it, I could essentially put a screw at any point I want to anchor it and it'll work. But if it was fiberglass, corrugated plastic, or foam, those are not thick or strong enough to screw into an anchor. And so I need to know positions ahead of time where I'm gonna weld or glue in a metal anchor below the insulation so that I can put a bolt through the bench and into that metal anchor. This also means that I'm gonna need to have millimeter accuracy for my walls and for my nuts and bolts. So that means I'm going to need to 3D model this digitally. I had to learn Fusion 360 in order to do my window flare as you can see here. And this design is not finished, I'm still working on it. And so just now I went inside the van and using a tape measure, laser measure combo, I accurately measured the inside of the van. And I did that down to the millimeter. I'm going to transfer this now into a new Fusion 360 project and get my floor layout. But I've also added some height measurements for certain features, which I'll need for my bed height, the wheel well height, and the chair height. And after about five courses or so on learning Fusion 360, I created this interior shape. Now that I had the dimensions of the interior, I was ready to start placing different objects to see what my camper van might look like. And so I took this as an external component, brought it into a new file, and then I started sketching. So I'm gonna remove all the bodies so that you can see just the sketches. And so I had all the dimensions for the objects I'd be building mapped to the dimensions that I measured from the van interior. I then began creating the 3D bodies so I'll start with the bed in the back and I'll bring in the interior as well so we get that reference. So over here I have the basic bed and so from the top down it sleeps horizontally and it should give me about six foot two of space. So if I go down to the sketch of the bed we can see it's 74 inches which is also six foot two if I hover over it says that and widthwise it's 50 inches. So that should be plenty of space to sleep in. Then to the left of that, I have the garage and this is where I'll have most of the electrical and enough room for a bicycle or two. And on the right, I have a fairly large tub with two seats opposing each other. And this seat is mostly going to cover the wheel well over here. But just to the left of that, there should be enough space for some storage. Then. On the left here, I have a fairly large counter and this will be used as a work area or a kitchen. And I'll have the sink, which I purchased and it's fairly large, sitting over here near the opening so that any sort of cooking I do can be done with a view. Since I won't be having a window over here or on the opposite side here. But I do plan to have windows in the flares on the left and the right of the bed. And that's to give it that six foot two space I need. As you can see, it's popping out of the original metal frame. So I need to extend that, but I haven't drawn them in yet. So the shower is fairly wide and that's to make room for the toilet that will sit next to the wheel well here, but to also provide enough space to shower in this portion here. So let me bring up the sketch of the shower so you can see the dimensions. We're looking at about 38 inches length and 26 inches wide. And the showering area is about 18 inches. Although you can shower anywhere, the toilet and wheel well will be sitting here. And so you could sit down to shower or you could stand up in this 18 inch space. And then finally, 
the bench and the bench will sit right next to the shower and go right up to the driver's side seat and if I do have guests I can extend this to create a fairly large six foot four by almost 50 inch bed so this guest bed is actually bigger than the main bed and that's it for the basic design of my van Thank you.